So there is some bizarre looking syntax that I want you to show you with matplotlib. So this syntax over here, you can see it's pretty much, we are all familiar with these other parameters that we pass in. So in this instance, we're saying this is row number, we want one row of graphs, two columns on our plot and select the second, pl second plot in our a graph that gets drawn over here. So you can see this is what the graphs look like. But did you know you can use a shorter syntax? So rather than having commas, what you can do is if I copy this line over here and paste it over here, and let's comment out that first line over there. And what you can do is you can basically remove the commas and have this sort of effect. So one, two, two. So if you were to do that, then you will still get the same result over here. And like here, you can change this one over here. So if I copy and paste, you can then comment out this line over here. And um, this line, we can just change and remove the commas like in so. And when we run this, you can see our graphs still get drawn. So what we can do is we can actually select. So for example, if we want to plot this data onto the first graph rather than the second graph, we can just simply replace this with a one. So one, two, one, and change this to one, two, two. So that's just doing the same thing as I explained in my previous video, just selecting the second graph to draw this data. And on this one, it's the last digit over there is selecting the first graph to draw this data. So this one will draw and select this data onto the first graph. And this two will actually select the second graph and draw this data on the second graph. So if I were to run this over here, you can see that it has done so. So this data end with six and it's drawn it on the first graph over here. This data is uh, goes up to nine and this gets drawn on the second graph. So this is the shorter syntax that you can use and you may see it in other people's code. So I thought I would mention it, although it looks very strange, but it's just with commas removed. So you could add commas like this for clarity, but if you didn't want to add commas, then essentially you can just do this and this would still work. Don't ask me why they decided to have this strange looking syntax, but I guess it's shorter and quicker and it makes your life easier, but at least you now know what it does and it's actually equivalent to the syntax over there.